This is the BMW E46 M3, a car that I maintain is the best M3 that there has ever been. Obviously it's very fast and naturally it's something that most of us would sell our souls for to live with. What's more, it zings and screams its way to the red line with as much vigour as a virgin on a brothel and is one of the most rewarding BMWs you will ever get to drive. I love the E46 M3 and I'm sure as hell betting that you do too. So what do you do when you're young and you can't afford a car like this? Easy, you buy a car like that, an E46 330Ci. So this is an E46 330Ci, it has got 96,000 miles on the clock, we've got a straight six engine except this is 3 litres in displacement, not 3.2 like in the, uh, in the M3 and we have a manual gearbox in this one. Now this I'm saying is a budget version of an E46 M3 and hear me out here, got the same amount of cylinders got good power, got the same shape, and the car looks awesome. The car looks properly mean, it looks properly fast, and it is fast. I mean, it will do 0 to 62 in around 6.2 seconds, and it's got a top speed of 155 miles an hour. Now, sure, on a racetrack, the M3 will dick all over this, but in the real world, it's a nice car. It's a fast car, and what's more, I enjoy driving it. The gearbox and the pedal weights, they're light enough for me to just slam through the gears and not have to kind of really work like a like a man on a field like I do in my uh, E36 M3. Steering's decent and two very important mods have been done to this particular car which makes it even more awesome. We've got a retrimmed steering wheel here so that will set you back about £150 and that's money well spent and what's more we've got a limited slip differential. It is a Quaif LSD and that means that you can lock up the rears, just like an M3. Now on to one of the most important things that you guys worry about, and that is insurance. I rang a few of the UK's biggest insurers and told them that I was a well-behaved 25-year-old teacher living in London looking to get insured on an E46 M3. We thought you might like to choose the music you listen to. Yes. For some Motown soul, press one. Hello. Hello. Could I have a car insurance quote? What's your surname, please? My surname is Smith. Did she hang up? I think so. Why? I don't know. Okay, sorry, yeah, I'm just the occupation. Oh, right, sorry, uh, I'm a teacher. After telling them that I had a clean driving history, had driven since I was 17, and that the car would be parked on a street in West London, the best quote I was given was £573 through Sky Insurance. But the real kicker here was that the average quote I got from four insurers was just over £3,000, which is $4,000 in American money. You know the interesting thing about that quote is that £3,000 buys you an E46 330Ci. BMWs, they are built like brick shit houses. The engines go for pretty much ever. This is on 96,000 miles and it is sweet as a gnat. That's like a London thing for awesome. Yeah, mate, sweet as a gnat. Yeah, how was it not out, mate? Sweet as a gnat, mate. You know, I went home with Deborah. Oh, she's sweet as a gnat. That's what this car is. This car is a Deborah. Everything is nice and light. The car feels nimble. The power delivery, straight six for the win as well. Very nice and linear. Vanos kicked in. Oh, you get yourself a 330. Nice coupe like this. You get electric everything. Pleases the ladies. And plus, you're going to be saving insurance money so you can take all those ladies out to like McDonald's and stuff. Is that what young people do? Yeah, yeah. McDonald's. Wimpy. 
wimpy. Take your many wives, no, you don't have wives. Take your many girlfriends out to wimpy. That's, that's what the children are doing these days. If you're anything like me, then numbers matter when it comes to cars. So let's have a look at the headline stats. The M3 has a 3.2 litre straight six, while the 330 makes do with a, you guessed it, three litre straight six. In terms of power, the M3 puts out 338 brake horsepower compared to 231 bhp in the 330, but hey, 25 stickers on the 330 should even things out. When it comes to weight, the 330 is almost 100 kilograms lighter than the M3, which is a decent victory. The M3 features a 0 to 60 time of 4.8 versus a 336.2 seconds, while the M3 gets 269 pound foot to its name, with the 330 making do with a not inconsiderable 221 pound foot. The cool thing though is that both of these cars share the same 155 mile an hour top speed. Obviously then, the M3 is the more powerful, desirable and badass car, but when you break down all the stats and consider that the 330 costs a third of the price of the M3, the gap between them isn't a million miles apart, especially in real world driving. The E46 330 CI is, in my opinion, a cool budget E46 M3. And if you make a few subtle mods to a car like this, then um, you can make it sound awesome. You can extract a bit more power. You can do wicked skids and you can have fun. Oh, that's really pretty though, isn't it? Probably should just get that. That's really bad advice. I know you want to have that car, but try this one first. It's not the same though, is it? It's not. But this is awesome. Yeah. Who can afford that? Could you afford it when you were 25? No. You're 25 now, aren't you? Just get a loan. Don't get a loan. Don't get a bank loan. Don't get a bank loan. Don't get a bank loan. <laughs> Definitely don't get a bank loan to, uh, to buy a car because when you crash it, then you're screwed. You're screwed for life. Here's some advice from Uncle Alex. Only now when I turned 31 did I buy an E36 M3 and I'm thinking, Wow, money pit. This is this is quite tough on the old wallet. So if I were 25 and I would have done that, uh, I probably would have got hunted down by loan sharks by now. So the overall story here is, if you don't want to be killed, buy a 330 and don't buy that yet. Okay. One, two, three. This is gonna go on forever, isn't it? <laughs> no! No! Oh my god! Get in! No! <laughs> no! That's why you're not on Top Gear.